Welcome to the Philosophy of Freedom study course that I have named Steps to Freedom. This video will help prepare you for the study course. In this video, I will talk about the missing chapter in the Philosophy of Freedom and what I had to do to find it. But first, here is how to subscribe to the free study course on YouTube. To be sure and not miss any of the videos, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. When the notification bell has the ring bars on each side, it means you will be notified whenever I post a new study course video. I've studied the philosophy of freedom for 30 years and have done my own research into the book and the life of Rudolf Steiner. There are many editions of the philosophy of freedom available in German and in English under various titles. But for myself, I felt something was missing in these editions, and something was missing in the literature and the teachings about the philosophy of freedom. This may sound odd, but they seem to lack the spirit of freedom. But none of these editions are the original. Parts of the original text have been completely removed in the popular editions. Other parts are revised and new sections have been added. This includes even the available German editions. Most of the changes are known, but I have found many other edits, some very small edits, that change the meaning in a big way. It is no longer clear to me who made the alterations and when they were made. The book has also been translated and then retranslated by various people guided by a variety of intentions. When Steiner wrote the book, he was immersed in the spirit of freedom. His creative impulse formed a written work of art that is alive and speaks to us and transforms us as great art will do. You just can't touch up great art years later and give it another meaning without dimming its light. If I was to be a serious student, I needed to have the original, unrevised, 1894 German edition of the Philosophy of Freedom. Surprisingly, I could not find the original text from the usual Steiner book sources. They had plenty of altered editions, but not the first edition. I finally found a copy from the Harvard College Library that Google had scanned and placed online. You can identify the original Philosophy of Freedom by looking at the content page. The content page will show an additional chapter called The Goal of Knowledge. Here is what it looks like in English. The original German edition is great for reference, but I also needed it translated to English. All the existing English translations were made from altered and revised German editions. Again, I was surprised the established Steiner publishers and translators seem to have no interest in offering an English edition of the original philosophy of freedom. While looking over a list of known editions of the philosophy of freedom at the Rudolf Steiner archive, I was shocked to discover the existence of an English translation of the original German first edition. It was published in 1916, and the translator was Alfred Hornell. I was aware of many English translations of the book, but I never heard of this translation. You would think it would be well known. Alfred Hornell was a highly qualified and experienced translator who did the very first English translation. He was himself a philosopher, and was familiar with the questions that Steiner discusses in The Philosophy of Freedom. His English translation was made while Rudolf Steiner was still alive. The Hornell translation is the only one that was sanctioned by Rudolf Steiner himself. The later translators were mainly known for being anthroposophists. The 1916 Hornell edition only existed as a very rare old book. It was never republished or digitized. It took a while, 
but I did track down a rare 1916 Hornell first edition. Its pages were yellowing. I carefully scanned it and placed it on the website. Then I republished it as a paperback and put it on Amazon at a price that only covers the publication costs. Beware the Kindle and hardcover advertisements on Amazon as they are not the Hornell. Now I had the original text as it flowed from Steiner's pen inspired by the unfettered free spirit of Steiner's youth. The Hornell English edition begins with the missing chapter called The Goal of Knowledge. You may find an incomplete version of this chapter in the back of other translations. Steiner said that this chapter expresses the mood of thought that inspired his writing of the philosophy of freedom. I would call this mood of thought the spirit of freedom out of which Steiner wrote. By reading the opening sentences of this missing chapter, you can experience the spirit of the book yourself. It is a clarion call to reach your full potential as an independent, self-determined individual. Besides setting the mood of the book, the goal of knowledge also gives the key to understanding the book, which is to recognize the difference between outer truth and inner truth. The philosophy of freedom is about striving for inner truth and then expressing inner truth in life. Inner truth guides us and empowers us with the conviction to reach our goals. It is a philosophy of life that is meant to be applied. The Steps to Freedom study course is not abstract philosophy. It is about applying the philosophy of freedom to life as a free spirit. I will be posting another video soon for the study course. To be sure and not miss any of the videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the notification bell.